Hi, so I can remember the exact moment in time when the internet became covered with a bunch of cookies everywhere and some sites you can't even see them because there are so many instructions saying, please click here, please take this. It's the worst. I have an extension that can solve that problem with you for the most part. Let's get into it. So today I'm going to show you six Chrome extensions more extensions. I've made an extensions video, but you should probably watch it if you haven't before. I'll leave a link to it above here, but also I'll leave it at the end just in case you just make it all the way over there. Then watch that one just to get more of them. Okay. But yeah, so the first one is an extension called Raindrop. Raindrop is actually a full website and it's fantastic. Um, but what it's mainly for is for storing articles and clips from different websites while you read now there's many of there's many options in this industry for this specific thing there's evernote there's the notion web clipper that allows you again to clip articles and tweets from different uh, parts of the internet but the thing i like about raindrop specifically is that not only can i save articles i can also highlight text which is important for me because um, as a writer sometimes i i read something that is just beautiful and I want to keep it. I want to keep it because I want to go back to it and see what the, what, what the writer used and why they chose to use the words that way and what things I could learn from that specific technique. So Raindrop really helps me with that. Let me give you a quick glimpse into what it looks like. Okay, so Raindrop. Uh, so let me go to the site. And then uh, I'll open up. All right, so I save a bunch of things. Most of the things I share are either tied to my newsletter, which if you haven't subscribed to, you totally should. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's called The Friday Fix, and it's amazing. It'll make you more productive and a better human being in general. Um, but yeah, so I, may, I mainly save, save stuff that's tied to the newsletter and tied to life stuff or tied to making money. But the common place is where I keep all the writing stuff, so I can just highlight something on a random, at, on a random page and then right click and then save it directly to raindrop so that i can refer to it later later okay so raindrop really useful if that sounds like something that you're into okay the next site is called super agent super agent is an extension that will for the most part that's my disclaimer for the most part eliminate all those cookie announcements that you keep finding on every website you get into which is which are probably annoying at this point and you might, you might be thinking, um, if you're technical enough, you might be thinking, um, well, yes, but it's important that you accept specific cookies on different websites and not just accept all of them. You need to accept only the functional ones. And uh, absolutely, and with SuperAgent, you can choose your settings for the cookies that you want to be accepted on specific websites, and it will save those settings and then just apply them on every new website that you visit. It's fantastic. You just never have to see those cookie alerts ever again for the most part again it happens in my case i've been using it for close to a year now and i'll tell you that probably 90 percent of the time um, it eliminates uh, the cookie alerts which for me is worth it so check out super agent i will leave links to all these extensions in the description so you can access them and check them out for yourself all right the next one that i want to talk about is called quillbot and quillbot is an ai extension which is similar to Grammarly okay if you use Grammarly Grammarly helps you it's supposed to sort of fix I, I mostly use Grammarly to catch errors in my writing um, I don't if you're a writer Grammarly probably isn't recommended to make your writing better just because it will probably make you sound like a robot which you don't want to sound like when you write but um, the thing I like about Quillbot which made me switch from from Grammarly to Quillbot was Quillbot not only has, not only checks grammar, it also has this paraphrasing tool uh, within its free offering, because of course there's a premium version that does everything. And um, we could actually take a look at the difference between the premium, the comparison between the two. But still, for the most part, I feel like um, for my specific use cases, um, these 125 words in a paraphraser is more than enough. Usually I'm trying to paraphrase very short pieces of text and um, it checks, it goes in and it checks um, all my grammar to make sure that I, if I've missed any things, it catches them, which is the same thing that I use Grammarly for. So in my case, it was worth it to switch, mostly for the paraphraser. 
um, but also for just checking your grammar as you write. So check out Quillboard. Otherwise, it also has a summarizer, which allows you to summarize a bunch of text. But those, most of the bulk of its options are available in the premium version, which if you have money, it's like $9 a month or something like that, if you have the money for it. Um, I don't use it. I didn't pay for Grammarly Premium either. Um, but with Premium, you can get things like a fact checker, a, a plagiarism checker. You can get things like uh, faster, faster processing speed, whatever that means. And, uh, but also, you, it, you can get a desktop app that allows you to compare two different texts, which is useful, for example, if you're a lawyer or some kind of business person and you want to compare two different contracts to see how they differ because maybe someone has an intentionally omitted a certain clause that you might find interesting or particularly relevant. So comparing two different documents is also a very useful feature to have, but it's only available in the premium version. But still, check out Quillbot and see how, how you think about uh, using Quillbot versus Grammarly, uh, depending on your use case. Grammarly does have the tone, uh, the tone checker, which lets you know whether, the, whether the, what you've written is friendly or angry or direct or straightforward and things like that, um, which is not available in Quillbot's uh, free version. But again, that's not something I need. Um, but that might be something that you need. So look into that. Otherwise, Quillbot, it is a fantastic tool. And I absolutely, particularly use the paraphrasing a lot. So you should definitely check it out. Okay. The next extension that I want to talk about is called Tango. And Tango, again, is a, an extension that allows you to create instructional manuals in an instant. And I made a video earlier on about Scribe. And Scribe does the same thing. But Tango is particularly interesting because it allows you to edit the instruction manual after it has been created, okay? And I'm going to show you a really quick um, uh, scenario to show you exactly how Tango works, okay? So I am going to go to my email, okay? So in my email, I am going to do a really quick tutorial for how to schedule an email okay so the first thing i have to do is initiate the extension there we go so once i have it i click capture workflow and then i start the first thing i want to do is hit compose then in compose i enter my email then i enter a subject then i enter a random text and then to schedule an email you go to this arrow right here near send you hit schedule send and then you pick a specific time you want it to go out. If it's not among these options, you can click pick a date and time. I'm just going to click a random, here, a random one here just for instructional purposes. And once that's done, I'm just going to click this little green button here. And then Tango will go ahead to create the workflow automatically. And once that, all, that, all those party funfetti are, are settled, we can go ahead and see what the instructional menu looks like. Okay. So now the beauty about Tango, which is slightly different from Scribe, is that you can not only edit the text, uh, which is sort of the instructional or prescriptive prompts within the instructional manual, but you can also edit the images. So if, for example, you look at this image and it's not very clearly highlighting the fact that compose is what you want the person to start with, and if the, help, if the helper text above isn't useful enough, you can also come in here and then add an arrow pointing at that specifically just to really drive the point home right at which point you can save that and then that will look like this now this is not something that you are able to do in scribe which for me was an was was the deal breaker okay now and so you can change almost everything and once you're done uh, i'm not going to walk this not a tutorial for tango right now maybe i'll do one but once you're done with this all you have to do is save the workflow and once you save it you can you click share and export and then you have a bunch of options for how to share it. You can either copy a link, which allows you to share a link with someone. And the advantage of sending a link is that you can update the manual and the updates happen automatically in real time when the person clicks on the link. Or you can embed it on a website if you want that, instru that instructional manual to be visible on your website for the long haul. Then you can also embed it and they have a provision for that. And if you just want to share this as a PDF or, or as an HTML or a markdown, then it has options for that as well. Okay, so really fantastic tool. Um, 
I, especially if you work in a company and you have new people coming to the company or you work in a club or something like that and you have new members join in, they usually have a lot of questions and usually have a lot of the same questions. So using something like this to create an instructional manual that just sends them to a specific page and tells them, here's how you do this, here's how you sign up, here's how you get your username, here's how you get your credentials, really saves you a lot of time. Um, so it's definitely something that you should look into if you haven't. So Tango is an extension. Absolutely, check it out. You should also check out Scribe. You might prefer Scribe to Tango. Tango's free version gives you, allows you to create up to, I think, 125 workflows, which is limited. But within, within that, you're able to make those edits and so on and so forth. But with Scribe, Scribe allows you to make as many workflows as you can, but it doesn't allow you to edit the images or the screen captures. Um, so you just have to pray that it gets it well, it gets it right. Or you have to do the screen recording again until it gets this capture that you, you're comfortable with. So there are drawbacks. It, it, also, there are stylistic differences. Tango's very orangey. Scribe looks, in my opinion, Scribe looks better uh, visually. Um, so check the two and see what you prefer. But otherwise, both of them are really useful and you should be using at least one of them as an extension in your laptop for this kind of thing. Okay? All right. So... The next and really the last extension that I want to talk to you about is called Barely. Barely is an AI site, barely.ai. Um, but I use the extension. The, the actual Barely is actually a, um, an application that you can download into your computer. And what Barely is mainly used for is for summarizing text. So you can drop large PDFs. I'm talking you could drop an entire master's thesis into Barely and it could give you a summary of what what as in you could you could drop in a 60 6, page document into barely and it'll give you an exec, an executive summary of the document which is fantastic right but i didn't want to download it into my onto my desktop just because i don't like i'm not, i'm very selective about what kind of applications i have on my desktop but i want to show you a real time example of how barely works and so i'm using the extension in this example, okay? So here is an article on why the China-US contest is entering a new and dangerous phase, you know, the battle over the dollar, right? But so what I do here is I initiate the extension, okay? And then I just click executive summary, okay? And it tells me barely is thinking. And then look at that. It tells me this article examines the increasingly hostile relationship between the U.S. and China and the implications for this for the global order. And it gives me key takeaways and counter arguments. And then it just allows me to copy it in case I want to paste this into a WhatsApp group and show that I know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, so this, man, this is useful to me. I don't know about you, but this is extremely useful to me. You can also ask it questions about the article. You can ask it when did something happen. If you know certain information is in an article, you can ask it questions about it. So really useful. You should definitely check out Barely AI. But yes, there you have it. Those are about five, five or six extensions that are absolutely useful for you that you should use today. If you would like to watch other videos from me, check out these videos that I have posted here so you can transition from this one to the next one. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.